Hello and welcome to Nazi Supper Club. It is festival time in India and nine days of a beautiful festival that where we celebrate the goddess, womanhood, we invite her in our house and enjoy with family and friends. Um, but this year it's a little different. This year because of COVID, nor we can go back to India and celebrate with our families, nor we can't can get together over here. So all we can do is dress up, look good, and try out some good delicacies that we enjoy every year with our friends and families. Of course, I'm going to share with my neighbors. I'm just going to show you something really fun today, which is called Mughlai Paratha. Now, Mughlai Paratha are made with uh, different kinds of fillings in it. They have vegetarian, non-vegetarian. I'm going to show you two versions today. One will be a vegetarian version. One will be a non-vegetarian version. It's just a stuck flatbread and fried, and it's really yummy, delicious. So let's go with the ingredients. First, I will tell you about the dough. So here you go. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt here. And I'm going to add two teaspoons of just neutral oil. I'm using canola. You can use vegetable as well. What happens with uh, extra virgin or uh, olive oil that has flavor is it changes the taste of your dough. I'm adding a tiny bit, maybe half a teaspoon more. Okay, so also going to go ahead now, mix all the salt, I mix the oil in here. I'm going to go ahead with lukewarm water and make a nice soft dough. Going in with my hands, you can use an electric stand mixer to make your dough, but I like to uh, do it with my hand. So here we are, our dough is ready. Let me show you what it looks like. It's a nice soft dough. All we need to do is let it rest for the next 20, 30 minutes. I'm gonna put this aside. And I'm going to show you what our vegetarian filling is going to be like. I have a quarter cup of carrots here. I pulsed it in my food processor because uh, I don't wanna sit and grate them. So here is half a cup of carrots. I have about one cup of cauliflower. I have half a cup of green peas, one boiled potato mashed, and a cup of paneer. Paneer is cottage cheese, but the only difference between the cottage cheese you get in the store and paneer is that cottage cheese is salted, paneer is unsalted onion here. This is a quarter cup of onion. Now, a lot of people during these nine days don't eat onions and garlics. So you can omit the onions. This dish can be made without the onion. Also garlic and ginger. I'm just going to use about a clove or two small cloves and half an inch of ginger for the vegetarian filling. The rest will be for the non-vegetarian filling. I also have some toasted crushed peanuts here. You can use cashews or no nuts if you're allergic to it. I also have raisins here. Now raisins is, you know, not a lot of people use raisins for the dish, but I like it. I think it adds a little something, something to it, a little bit of surprise in every corner, you know, of the dish that a slight hint of tart and sweetness. I, I really like that. So I think this is a good choice, but if you don't want it again, this can be omitted. Chopped green chilies. I have a little bit of turmeric here. I'm going to just use a quarter teaspoon. I don't want too much color for the dish. I have coriander powder here. I'm going to use a teaspoon of that. I have chili powder here, maybe a teaspoon and a half, according to the spice level you enjoy. A squeeze of lime and I have mango powder here. Now, if you do not have mango powder on your hands and it's called amchur in India. If you don't have amchur mango powder, that's fine. You can, again, still make this dish. Just add extra lemon juice, lime juice, whatever you like, and then the tartness will pop out. I am also using my garam masala here. I'm going to use a cup, about a quarter teaspoon. I just freshly made this. I have given the garam masala recipe on my blog. You can check it out over there in that previous recipe of the shaggy chicken korma. 
I am also going to use a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. Now that also adds a little bit of richness, a little bit of something something to the dish. We are going to go in with quarter cup of onions that I have mentioned. And I have a tablespoon of our canola oil in here. And this is heated on a low medium feed, uh, flame. But we don't want this to like heat up too much and you know kind of kill all the aroma in our ingredients. So while the onions are sauteing, I'm going to grate a little bit of ginger in here. Two cloves of garlic. Not more. Again, we don't want the garlic ginger to overpower everything. So you're going to let this saute and cook down. See the onions are turning pink. They're changing color very slowly. And I'm going to go ahead with the green chilies. Two green chilies chopped. And I'm going to go to the quarter cup of carrots and the cauliflower. Cook this for about 30 seconds. I'm also going to go ahead with the green peas. Let this all cook down really nice. You want the veggies to lose their moisture. So now I'm going to go ahead with the spices. Spices are pretty simple. I'm going with a quarter teaspoon of turmeric. Chili powder as much as you like because it is spicy. I added green chilies too, so I'm going to go less on that. I'm also going with coriander powder. Again, just a teaspoon. And I forgot to again mention in the recipe, while I was going through the ingredients, cumin powder. Please do add that. That adds a really good touch to your dish. I'm sorry I did not mention it. I'm going to mix this really nice and I'm going to go ahead again with salt to taste. A little bit. And I'm also going to go ahead with, sorry, the crushed peanuts. Add as much as you like or don't add if you're allergic and don't like peanuts. Going with the raisins. I'm also going in now with the paneer. Look at this beautiful filling. This is going to make your mobile for our top. Amazing. And I'm going to add this one smallish boiled mashed potato. I use my hands a lot in my cooking. Spoon doesn't do it for me. Go in. Always go in with your hands because that adds really good energy to your food. It's excellent. I love the, the, the taste of the filling since I tasted it. Now, last but not the least, I'm going to add with the mango powder here, just a teaspoon, few pinches, whatever you call it. I need it a little bit here. And I'm going to show you a trick. If you don't have the mango powder, please go in with your lime juice. I'm going to add both, like a little tart here. And I'm going to remove this in a plate to let it cool down. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, now, now I don't want this mixture to get too dry. I want a Mughalai paratha to be tasting like a Mughalai paratha. Nice, rich. So I am going to go ahead and add a few teaspoons of heavy whipping cream here. Now again, you, if you're not using dairy, there is still a choice. You can add coconut cream here. Coconut cream also makes this dish very luscious. So I guess three teaspoons is fine. And I'm gonna go in with my hands and just kind of give this a nice blend. It's too hot. Don't do what I'm doing. It's too hot, use a spoon. Oof, okay. So we're gonna let this cool down a little bit now. So we just added a cream and mixed it, the heavy whipping cream. I'm also adding quarter teaspoon of garam masala. I didn't want to add it while we were cooking because then the garam masala loses all the flavor. So I'm just adding it now. 
while the mixture is hot and it'll catch on all the flavor. So we are back here. Our vegetarian filling for the Mughalai paratha is all cooled down. My dough is nice and soft and ready, rested. So all I'm doing is I took a big, um, you can take as big as you want, as small as you want, but I think a fairly, this, you know, a little bigger than golf, golf ball. I'm gonna take this dough and I'm gonna roll it out in a thin, nice roti. For that, I'm gonna take some plain flour, dust it. You don't want this to stick, so I'm gonna just dust a little bit. Oops, and I'm gonna roll this out. Point, I'm gonna go in with just a teaspoon. I'm eyeballing it, but it's pretty much a teaspoon on this side and a teaspoon on this side. Just a little bit on this side. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put the filling in. I have my pan that is heated on a low flame. I'm going to add about three to four tablespoons of oil and first fold the edges in here this way. And now I'm going to add, I'm going to just go in with my hands and add the filling in here. This is really beautiful, soft filling. It hasn't dried out, you know, because of that little cream that we added. And again, I'm mentioning that if you do not do dairy, Coconut cream is perfect. If you are not using paneer, then the tofu is perfect. So also I have a little bit of paste over here, just made with flour and water. I'm going to seal the edges with that. Like this, because you don't want all your filling to come out. Like this, and you're going to press it down. You want the filling to spread a little bit and you're going to press it down really nice. With gentle hands, you don't want your filling to be falling apart. This is how you're going to do it. I'm going to press it down a little bit on this side as well. Turn the edges in a little. You can even roll it out a little bit, but with very gentle hands like this. That's about it. I wouldn't roll any more than that because I know my filling will be running out. And at this point, I'm gonna make it a medium flame. All right, here it goes. And you wanna fry this on both sides when until they're golden brown. So when they do this on the streets in, in Mumbai, Calcutta, wherever you go in India, if you're ordering a Mughala Paratha, they deep fry it, literally. Um, and I didn't want to deep fry it. So when the oil's splashing all over you, so gonna, there you go. Perfect golden brown crust on one side. That's exactly what we want on the other side. So that's what we're gonna wait for. So here we are with our Mughalai Paratha. I am going to cut it into nice pieces and serve these with ketchup. Let's get this edge out. I want this to look pretty on your platter. So I'm going to put this for my very hungry boys to eat. And for the pretty platter, Look at this goodness in there. Paneer, vegetables. Here you go. Here you go. I'm sure this is going to be a star for all your guests. And there is another one.